Well, welcome to the studio. Today, we are going to be working on a desk set. You will love this. It's easy enough that you can do it even as a beginner, but it makes a great gift. So, so this is part two of the desk set videos. And um, we're gonna work on a little uh, business card stand. Let's do it. Okay. okay, I'm in charge of making a pattern for this next project. So I have a board, and actually this is just a piece of drywall, and that works fine. And then I have a piece of poster board, then I have a carbon paper, and then our pattern. So I'm just going to put a few nails here, and this is only to hold this on, because I don't want it moving on me. So I'm going to do that gently. And then I'm going to get a pencil. I think I'll use a ruler just to make sure here. And I'm going to go over all these lines. Baby, can you give me a better pencil? Things run out of lead. Thank you. Okay. So if I just go over all these lines, it's nice when they're they're straight line. You can use a ruler. Some of these um, designs we have are um, more uh, like the tulip and stuff has some rounded pieces. So. You, you just have to follow along and that's fine. But this one's easy. Now, I'm going to just um, show you uh, what I do if I'm doing a big window. If I am going around all the pieces, then just to make sure I know that they're all covered, then I'm going to put a number in them. Because I don't want to go back and and say, oh man, I missed that one. But this way I know. I've gone around all of the pieces. I've numbered them, and so I, I know. Okay, let's do this little teeny one. This must be the side pieces. And this has just a little curve right here, so I think I'm going to not use the ruler right there so I can follow that curve. Okay, just a few little pieces in the middle. And I've chosen a, a blue and a white for this one, because like we were saying before, we kind of wanted these things to be more masculine, so Blue and my white might work just fine. Okay, so I've gone over now. Before I take out all of the nails, I'm going to check to make sure that I have all of them. Oh, see, I forgot to number those. I think I'll do that. Okay, we're all numbered. It's all the way around. We're good, so I can take the nails out. And then there is the pattern. Okay, so for the outside pieces, I'm just going to use regular scissors. And I'm just going to go right down the center. We want to give David the right size pattern here. Now be careful as you do this pattern. Every, every piece that you do um, in stained glass uh, one project just goes along with the other. So one, if you do a straight pattern, then you have better cuts. And if you do straight cuts, then you have better um, foiling. To, you know, it just all builds on each other. Okay, so I've got all the outside. Now I'm going to use my pattern shears. And the pattern shears, if you remember, are, it's going to make a little bit um, so that the, the pieces are going to be a little bit smaller 
And so when we foil them, then they should fit just right. So I'm going to just put the top blade right on the line. Okay, so that's for one side. Set those over there. And around the outside with my regular scissors again. pattern shears. There you go. We're ready to put it on the glass now. Okay, so now I'm going to trace this onto the glass. I'm using a black marker for the white glass and then a silver marker for the blue. Because that's just, I just see it better. Okay, when you do this, make sure you put the number on the on the glass you know now let's see three just needs two okay I'm going to make two of number three and I'm going to turn one of them um, upside down because we're going to need two sides okay three and I'll just say OP for opposite Okay, and I think we only need one of this one. Okay. Now, silver marker. Ooh, that's a nice new silver marker. Okay, so two A, I just need one. Now I'm go I'm gonna use the same line for both sides because I think that David can cut that and just use the same line. So we'll see how good he is. Okay, so I'm gonna make another one of these. But I've turned the pattern piece upside down. Okay, two opposite, and just two. And this one is for B. Okay, so we've got our blue, we've got our white. And now with the black, that'll show up better, I'm going to do a glue chip. Okay, I'm going to do. I'm going to do it on the smooth side because it's easier to cut the smooth side. So, 1A. David says sometimes I get kind of crazy trying to save on glass and then I make it harder for him to cut them apart. So, careful of that. <laughs> okay, 4A, we just need one. And then 4B, we're going to need one for both, one upside down. So, there's a 4B. Oh. What? OP. OP. Thank you. Right. So what I do this way. Okay, and then this little teeny one. And there you go. 
Oh, and we're all ready. Okay. Okay, and I'll just, move, you. I'll just move in here and, and cut these really quick. I'm using a hand cutter and our oil. And you really have laid this out in a challenging manner. I'm cutting just on the inside of the line. And so, by cutting just on the inside of the line, I will have just, it'll be just the perfect size. Now, there may be a little spot here where we need to grind. I don't think we had to grind on the other, did we? No. Now, um, this one, I believe, since it's such a small diameter, or such a small, small pieces, I think you'll have to use quarter inch foil. Now see where she overlapped the two, then I just still cut on the inside of that line. And Jeannie, I guess, I guess you can just start grinding them, right? You don't ever want to do that. You, what I just did was try to go over the same Place. I wasn't aware that it had already been scored. Okay, so I'm just rocking my hands apart. And then on these smaller ones, I'm going to rock the pliers just like I do when I'm rocking my hands. Now, could you use um, these on your straight cuts? I could. Those are called running pliers. We especially like those for making very long, narrow cuts that we made with a uh, with a strip cutter. Now. There's a line on top. I've drawn it on so that you can see it easier, uh, so the students don't get confused. And when you clamp down on it, these curved jaws act just like your hands do when you when you break it in a rocking motion. So you just put the middle of the running pliers directly over the score. And now that at almost a 90 degree angle. Is that something that a student should try? I don't know. That's just because you laid it out. And I was trying to... cut it loose. This is a much more brittle glass than the blue. Notice I'm doing all, all the scoring that I can 
at once because it speeds things up and especially when you're doing straight cuts you don't get into many problems. Okay, that's all those pieces that we need for this particular uh, design, except for this bottom piece, which I'm going to cut out of glue chip. And that's, so you want to go do the grinding? Mm -hmm. okay. okay, now I'm going to grind these little pieces that David just cut. A um, few things to remember is that I'm not really grinding a lot. I'm just skimming the surface so that when I foil it, I won't cut myself. The only part that I'll probably go a little bit more on is this rounded part. Now I'm going to um, put some water on here. I want to make sure that this is always wet. Okay, and I am wearing my safety glasses. Now we're ready to foil. I'm going to use a quarter inch foil on this one because it's smaller and we want to make sure we get all the detail of it. And so I'm going to just make sure that it's level or that it has the same amount on both sides. And I'm going to go all the way around. When I get around, I'm just going to leave a teeny little tag and fold that over. And then pinch it all the way around, making sure I get around that corner. And then I'm going to burnish it with my fid. Okay, and I'm going to do that with every single piece. Okay, now this is a little bit different than the last project because I've got to line this up on using my pattern. And um, so it adds an extra step. And what's interesting about it also is that uh, uh, we have to not tin this little bit right up front. I have to get this, get these pieces lined up. This is the back of the card holder. And here we go. Now I'm just fluxing this very lightly. See, I'm just dragging this along, hoping not to move the glass very much. Now I want to drag my solder just slightly. I want to get a nice, perfect, rounded bead. You see how I, I apply the solder and then I touch and drag over to the side. I could touch and pull up. But I'm just looking to give this to get a nice fine bead. Okay, now. Now that I've got this part uh, finished, on the interior, 
Now we go back to the same type of construction that we did before, which is that we want to tin this outer edge, just like, like we did on a piece that was just one single piece of glass. So here I go, going around the edge just like I did before. And I'm going to take care of the top edge, tinning it. And I can flip it. Now I don't want to put very much flux. I just want to wet it, but I don't want to saturate it. If I get too much flux on this right here, then what I'll do is I'll have a bunch of liquid down in here and it'll be boiling out and cause it to bubble up and try to create bubbles. And so by just putting a little tiny bit of flux on there, then I'm more successful. Okay, now. Now I'm going to do the same thing to the two sides that Jeannie's uh, finishing up foiling right now. And then we'll do the assembly. This is fun. This is the assembly of the business card uh, holder. And this is, of course, the linear design that we went with. I'm just tacking it. And, and look, it's just straight up and down and straight over. Now I'm going to add a little more solder right in here so it's a little more secure. Okay. Now Jeannie thinks this is funny because it kind of looks like a little chair. Because there it is, it's you know 90 degree angle. And then we lay so you got to get the right one. Okay, we lay our square piece. And it's a side. And I can put it at any angle I love, but I'm going to... So as you're working on it, it kind of looks like a little lawn chair, actually. So on this one, now that I've got that so that it'll stand straight up and down, I can kind of hold it and pinch it in place. in my edges and I guess while I'm at it I might as well just stitch this back edge up Drag that along. 
and smooth it up. Oh, and there it is. So great. Well, I hope that you were able to make one of those. If not, put it on your to-do list because they're a lot of fun. So thanks for being with us and thanks for being with us to uh, make some of these desk set pieces. And uh, maybe you'll have some ideas for gifts in the future for business cards or, or any of these things that can be put on the desk. So we hope that you had an enjoyable time. Next time. See you next time.